Hello everyone, my name is Sarin Wongrat from SCG International Company. Now we take part as the moderator in today's session. First, please be welcome to the Singapore Week of Innovation and Technology Exhibition on Switch 2020, where we all access to global startup, investors, innovation community, and ecosystem players. Now today, Southeast Asia is the region having highest annual electricity demand growth rate of the world which causing a very high greenhouse gas emission and our climate change. So it's unavoidable to adapt or change the policy of energy management to be more efficient, effective and realistic accordingly. So the topics of today's discussion is very, very important as we relate to energy management area affecting globally. Today, we are honored by Mr. Vashirachai Kunam Matana, Head of Services Solution Business of SCG. He developed a new business that aims to improve the quality of life in the area of smart and eco solution and well-being. Also, we have here Dr. Ponput Jaru Mongkonsak, Chief Technology Officer and Co-Product Owner of Smart Building Solution. So, let's start with the real breakthrough energy solution. Okay, so thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm very glad, you know, to be joining this event. And for today's topic, I would like to, you know, introduce you some of the solution or technology that could be quite interesting. And, you know, the topic today, um, the real breakthrough energy solution, um, it's something that, you know, maybe a little bit surreal, but, um, I think this is something that if you are the building owners and you want to improve the efficiency of the buildings and you know saving more on the energy use, uh, usage on top of what you already have, uh, this is something that could be uh, of your interest. And this session we we'll talk about that. Um, so let's start you know with this introduction. Okay. So. Um, the topic of real back to energy solution. Um, talking about energy, I know this is some facts you know, that you know, I could probably discuss and, and bring to your uh, attention. You know, one of the things that uh, you know, is already, already known of is that we consume a lot of energy. For example, the electricity consumption in ASEAN of last year would be about 1 million gigawatt hour, uh, which could, you know, be equivalent to, you know, the emission of carbon and dioxide of 50 million tons a year. How big is that, you know, of this CO2 emission? You know, it could take 3.8 million square kilometers of forest to absorb that, you know, carbon dioxide emission, which is about the size, you know, double the size of Indonesia. You know, so, so you could imagine that this is like a big issue right now, and we have to do something about that. Of that consumption, 44% is actually contributed by the buildings. So, you know, we are talking about a big portion of energy consumption in buildings from electricity usage. And that's a quite a big issue. That's also a fact, you know, that in buildings, about 65% of electricity consumption actually from HVAC, you know, or basically heating and, and ventilation and, and air conditioning system in the buildings. And this is something that, you know, all the buildings use. And if there's anything that we can you know, utilize to save that HVAC energy consumption, that would be something that could be interesting for, for all of us. Um, and then what is the breakthrough in this front, you know, and, and you know that, you know, with all the technology, all the engineering uh, advancement, we have already improved a lot in the HVAC system. And what's the basic HVAC system is all about? Basically, all the consumption is used to cool down. For example, in air conditioning system, it used to cool down the air, you know, in order to make it comfortable for the people that live in the buildings. And that actually a lot, you know, a lot of that cooling load 
you know, 30 to 50 percent of that is actually contributed by the heat to cool down the outdoor air. You know, so so basically, why we need out, outdoor air into the building? Because you know, when we use the air in the building, we consume the air, and then uh, people in the building emit, you know, the carbon dioxide. We need to take that out from the building, and that actually uh, means we have to take the new air into the building, and then new new air will bring about the humidity and heat, and that would load the air conditioning system in the buildings. We all know that. You know. Then what's new? What if, you know, let, let's imagine, what if we can reduce the use of the new air, reduce the, uh, the need of using outdoor air in the building? Then basically, you can save a lot of energy. And that is just something that I would like to introduce you. Uh, it's a technology, Energy Well series, powered by Emirate. Uh, we use that system in order to reduce the need of outdoor air and hence, reduce the energy consumption in the HVAC system. Uh, we have some you know, introduction uh, video clip so that you can learn a little bit about uh, these new technologies. So please have a look at this. Maintaining indoor air quality is a huge expense in commercial buildings. Over time, contaminants like carbon dioxide, formaldehyde, and VOCs build up inside the building. To address this, the typical HVAC system replaces all of a building's air every one to two hours to dilute them. This outside air adds 30 to 50% more load on HVAC systems. The result? Massive wasted energy and oversized HVAC systems to deal with the load, which means higher first cost capital expense and greater ongoing energy and maintenance costs. Plus, outside air brings in its own pollutants especially for buildings in cities or near highways. You can solve these problems with the Inverid HVAC Load Reduction, or HLR module. HLR technology is the only solution that safely removes all indoor air contaminants through molecular cleaning, which improves indoor air quality and reduces the need for outside air by 60 to 80 percent. This lowers required HVAC capacity for heating and cooling and capital expense, while reducing annual energy consumption by 20 to 30 percent, with peak savings of over 40 percent, and much less outdoor pollution brought into the building. HLR modules can be easily designed into new or existing commercial buildings in compliance with ASHRAE 62.1 and the International Mechanical Code. With the combination of energy savings and indoor air quality, deployments can achieve 10 to 12 lead points across indoor environmental quality, innovation, and energy credits. HLR technology has also been validated by the U.S. Department of Energy, the GSA's Green Proving Ground Program, and numerous utility rebate programs. The underlying air cleaning technology has been around for decades in spacecraft and submarines and is based on sorbent materials engineered to capture contaminants. Its operation is surprisingly straightforward. In adsorption mode, the HLR module draws circulating air from the building's HVAC system. Non-toxic sorbent cartridges capture contaminants so clean air flows back into the building. When sorbent cartridges are saturated, the module automatically begins a self-cleaning process called regeneration. In this mode, a small heater warms air inside the module, releasing contaminants and safely exhausting them outside the building. So that's about uh, this energy well series solution. Um, so basically, just to sum up a little bit, you know, with this graph, yeah, on the conventional design, normally in the building, you have this, you know, air handling unit. Uh, and there's a need to put the indoor, uh, you know, the outdoor air to ventilate um, in this uh, agony system. With the energy well unit, basically, we put energy well unit uh, attached to the existing uh, agony system. And this unit will be used to clean up the return air, uh, some of the return air, and then reduce the need to take in the outdoor air. By reduction of this, uh, then we're reducing the cooling load. 
And this uh, system actually in compliance with ASHRAE 62.1 IAQP. So that's basically how it works. So what's the benefit of this system? You know, you know, basically, you know, on top of the air conditioning system that you have, this unit can save 20 to 30 percent on top of that, and that would actually be the payback three to five years. For the new building, actually it's moving even further because you know you, you don't need as big as the air cutting system uh, that you design. You know, you can downsize a lot of things. You can downsize the Sheila, ASU, or AU, and that actually improves the payback to be even shorter, uh, three years at a maximum. And that's a benefit that you can get from this you know, uh, technology. Further, when you talk about the, you know, using outdoor air to be able to clean up or ventilate to improve the quality of the air in the building, now today, you know, outdoor air is not necessarily the fresh air anymore. You, know, you can look at what happened now with the PM 2.5 issues, of the dust or the pollution, um, by using the ventilation alone, probably is not enough. You know, the energy, uh, the energy well unit actually can even improve the quality of air in the building and also be able to control it, uh, which is a key benefit of this as well. Um, anyone use it? We have been, you know, this thing we have been uh, implemented in many of the buildings in the US, in Europe, in China, in Asia, and also in Singapore as well. And there are a lot of reference sites uh, that could be a reference uh, and get the benefit that I uh, have already explained. To sum up, you know, this energy well solution powered by Embry is the, the technology that uh, is a breakthrough and have been awarded you know, in, by ASHRAE uh, last year as product of the year. And it can save energy consumption in the building. It can save capital expenditure if you want to install it in the new building. Uh, it will clean the air in the building and be able to control it and make the building more sustainable. And that's the summary of today's. Uh, um, I represent Smart Building Solution from SCG. And there's an office in Singapore that you can contact. And this is an OKR code. And thank you very much for having me here. Okay, so um, the next part will be the Q&A part. Um, and back to the presentation that um, Mr. Virtirachai has been sharing to us. So um, we, you've seen the numbers 30% energy saving. So um, would you please share and, and clarify more detail about this number as the key benefit? Thank you very much for the question. You know, I, I would like to elaborate a little bit more on this saving. You know, as already explained a little bit about the mechanics of the energy. Uh, so basically, the uh, will be utilized to reduce the need to put the new outdoor air into the building. And basically that reduces the load you know, of our heat and also humidity that uh, was brought into the building by the new uh, outdoor air. So that basically the, the mechanics of it. And the saving will be the, uh, the reduction of the load to the HVAC system. Um, and this 30% you know, is quite a lot because it's on top of what already have, uh, what you have in the building already in the HVAC system. You know, whatever. The, the, the efficiency uh, system that you put in place will be on top because it reduce the requirement even further. Uh, for example, you know, this saving, uh, if I expand a little bit more about this uh, savings, it's not only the saving, uh, immediate saving from the energy consumption that you use. If you think about that, it can be saving indirectly safe by the, a lot of things. For example, in the new building, you don't have to put as large as much uh, the size of the HVAC system. And that could save a lot of money. 
And even further, in even some cases, uh, you cannot even put, you know, uh, you know, in the old buildings, uh, if you want to renovate it, um, you don't have to even put a big investment in the capex, because sometimes, you know, that in the old buildings, you have the uh, people uh, that live, and there's a lot of load uh, that is designed, and if that if that load is already at the limit of the system. You know, this is even a better alternative way to improve uh, the building and save energies instead of putting a new uh, HVAC system, additional HVAC system into the building. You rather, you know, put the energy value in state and achieve the same result. And that's actually some that we have for our customers. Okay, thank you. Um, Actually, we, we know that um, this has been awarded as the product of the year, but um, that, that would actually guarantee the performance in the energy saving. However, um, would there be any restrictions or concerning point for the solution to any buildings, any other buildings that might not be suitable to use these options? Um, basically not, you know, if the buildings already use as centralized HVAC system, uh, this energy well unit can be put attached to that unit in many, many forms. You know, uh, we probably have to uh, make some assessment on what's the best way to install it, uh, what's the configuration that necessary, the size of this, uh, but that's basically it. You know, unless, you know, if the building is not using the central HVAC system, right? If you use a kind of split type, that probably another solution, but for almost all you know centralized HVAC system, this unit can be utilized. Okay, thank you. So, so any reference project site that um, we could see around? Could could you share that information as well? Yes, there are a lot of reference sites as mentioned earlier. Uh, this uh, technology has been started and utilized in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, and you know, using in all kinds of climates, you know, all kinds of you know applications. You know, for example, people may wonder that okay, maybe this, you know, whether this unit could be utilized in a tropical climate like in our area in ASEAN. Uh, but you know, there's a many many location, you know, elsewhere in the world. For example, in Miami, that has a kind of similar climate, and has already been used and in that case, you know, they save energy up to 36 percent. Um, so basically, there are a lot of reference and we have already started some uh, now in this area, in this region as well. OK, thank thank you, Mr. Vachrash. Hi, so um, hi, Dr. Ponput. So it's your turn now. Um, the thing is about like in case that if the building has already obtained other energy saving system solution, but still want to install the well, the energy well solution. Is that possible or any concern um, in the installation process? Could you please share to us? OK, sure. Uh, uh, as you know, OK, uh, this, the design uh, for the HVAC system um, is the depend on a uh, mechanical engineer. And most of the mechanical engineer know how do we design the ventilation to the standard. For example, a standard of uh, ASHRAE uh, C2.1. But also in the standard have uh, some development. So we have uh, the new methodology called the AQP. So if uh, any designer would like to use this kind of a new uh, methodology, uh, we can uh, support uh, him and also uh, can help um, on uh, uh, to design to uh, run around to see that for the feasibility to see about the size of the unit have to use. So this is not a hard thing uh, to the design of the system. And for the installation, also it's a simple. It's the same as the many of the uh, equipment uh, in the HVAC system. So for for this kind, uh, even you have uh, uh, like a big um, uh, centralized system, or you have the small centralized system. Or any you have like the uh, many uh, unique uh, uh, design for the HU or any uh, efficient system uh, for the chiller itself. 
we can design all uh, to work it together and that uh, create a saving uh, on top of the energy uh, consumption that you have now. Mm. And OK, um, thank you, Dr. Ponput. And back to your answer just now, we, we uh, you, you mentioned about the well standard fit well. So um, I'm sure that um, our customer might might want to apply for well standard fit well or lead certificate. So would that um, well solution series help adding any standard points or score? And and how much are we talking about the investment? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that is a good question because this is also uh, one of the situation that uh, can uh, help the building owner um, a lot uh, by using uh, energy well solution. Um, as you know, uh, for the uh, many designer, uh, we know that if we would like to uh, apply for the lead uh, certification or the well or the fit well, it means we have to uh, spend um, some money. Okay, we have to increase. Uh, set the budget uh, for the uh, investment uh, a bit more um, to we can uh, achieve a uh, higher standard. Um, but the 4 g well is uh, uh, on the uh, um, opposite side. So it means uh, we can uh, uh, save in the energy, we can save in the cost, and also um, get more points um, for the standard itself. Uh, for the example uh, that I uh, uh, remember right now is the, um, uh, a building uh, for the technical uh, company uh, with the size like uh, 10,000 uh, square meter. And uh, first, mm, uh, they uh, try to consider uh, to install a more like the uh, 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 carbon dioxide sensor. Okay, and also uh, try to uh, increase the uh, capability of the HVAC system. So uh, they can uh, achieve uh, like the uh, more ventilation, achieve like the put more sensor and gain more points mm, from apply the uh, lead uh, certification. And that is uh, for whatever it's like almost uh, $200,000 uh, mm, US dollar uh, to gain like the uh, five score. Mm. Uh, but mm, after we touch with them uh, for the building owner and the designer and also the consultant, and we found that if we install the uh, energy well uh, uh, system, and uh, they can save um, for like the in, uh, investment and energy is like almost like the, uh, 50,000 uh, US dollar and also can get the point like the 11 point um, that is from the uh, innovation from the energy saving from the indoor air quality. So that is the board saving uh, on uh, like the actually uh, on about uh, uh, money saving achieve the score that they want to have um, increase the level of the certificate. So it is a good uh, option uh, to apply the uh, energy wells as uh, uh, for uh, any building who would like to uh, have the lead certification, would like to have well certification and also fit well. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for that, yeah. And um, in addition in addition to that, um, that there are some people who, who have um, who have more concern in other points. So if they're not concerned about the energy saving, but mm -hmm. rather focus more on the indoor air quality, could our energy well solution could work and solve this problem as well? Mm, that's also a good question. OK, uh, as uh, we uh, explained, uh, that is the energy well uh, to uh, improve the indoor air quality. And also, can be, uh, we can apply for the reduce uh, outdoor air. But in the case that the customer don't want to reduce outdoor air, but who want, would like to challenge more for the indoor air quality. Uh, we, I can say that for the uh, concept of the IQP, for the concept of the cleaning the air inside the building, uh, if combined with the concept of dilution for the ventilation, it can like get much further for the uh, like the benefit on the in indoor air quality. Uh, for example, right now the carbon dioxide mm, for the carbon dioxide level in the indoor quality right now is a standard is like the uh, one thousand ppm. Uh, if we use energy well, okay, and uh, we can control or enjoy the saving, and also the uh, carbon dioxide level inside the building can be reduced mm, uh, around like uh, eight hundred. PPM that is good, mm, so it's more clean mm, for the air. But also, if we uh, apply more 
let's say that we not reduce much for the outdoor air, we still uh, use outdoor air in some level. Uh, that is the case that uh, carbon dioxide level in, uh, inside the building is uh, just getting better. It can be getting to like uh, 600, only 600 ppm. That is quite uh, better than a, any uh, good building right now. Yeah. And also we have many research mm, to support that uh, if the uh, anyone, uh, people uh, that live inside the building that ha that's, uh, have that this good of the level of the carbon dioxide, mm, it can help the uh, people to have like more uh, uh, productivity, more uh, efficiency on uh, 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 what like the uh, connective decision about if uh, you are the guy who try to planning for the strategy uh, to do for the business and you want the guy to want to think about uh, the new equation to try to solve the, uh, the, the problem that is quite complex. So in that place, um, if you enjoy with the computer side level at the 600, your productivity, your brain going to be like work at 100% better. Um, it is the research from the uh, uh, Harvard University itself. Mm. So that is the better benefit if the, anyone would like to enjoy this. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Hope I yeah. answered uh, to your question. Okay. Yeah, that, that's very interesting um, details. And I, I, I think like um, lots of people might might want to to get more details. So um, back to uh, Mr. Vashirashai. So if anyone interested in, in getting more information about your energy wealth solution, so would you please share the contact details or any other recommendation about the scheme of uh, the payment as well? I think, you know, Thank you very much for this question. You know, so basically, you know, as Dr. Pambut has mentioned, we have the team to make assessment and design because all the buildings have a different requirements and we can tailor the solution to match the requirements, uh, which include a lot of things, you know, and, and, you know, we can talk about the capital expenditure, capex, or if you want, we can make some arrangement uh, to be OPEX instead of capex. But all things have to be, you know, uh, designed and work together. Uh, I have already shared the contact details, you know, and we have website on SCG Smart Building Solutions. Uh, but in Singapore, we also also have the, the office that have a contact persons, and also you can uh, discuss and and make a plan, and we are here to help. Thank you very much for the details. I think this topic. The real breakthrough energy solution is very, very interesting. Um, I believe it's come closer to us and into our everyday life to, to have more attention and more detail that we have to learn. Um, nonetheless, we still have another session on the new normal of indoor air quality. So please be welcome to join us again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.